Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is a general energy reading for Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Uh, it is hump day. Happy hump day to everybody. I hope everyone's having a good week so far. Just a, a notice, we will be doing happy hour tonight. So if you would like to join us for happy hour and get a single question personal reading at a discount go ahead and well plan for it <laughs> but also if you would like to get on the list early you can send payment to my paypal account you can either use my email address divine conversations 2711 at gmail.com or you can use the paypal link on my homepage here on YouTube. It's up at the top right. It says PayPal. It's next to Instagram and also Facebook, I believe, buttons that direct you to my Instagram and Facebook pages. Um, happy hour readings are discounted to $20. Yes. So if you would like to get on the list early, I do a maximum of 10, uh, 10 readings, including a general energy so you can go ahead and send payment there and I will get you all set up. You will be on the list. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a general energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can either check me out for happy hour tonight or if you want something more in depth, go ahead and email me and uh, we'll have a little chat and I'll get you set up. Yeah. Okay, um, and also keep in mind that energies are fluid and time is an illusion. So these messages are timeless, yes? So whenever you hear this or are guided to watch this video or listen to this video, that is when the messages are meant for you. Okie dokie. All right, so without further ado, let's just get into it. Uh, please excuse my tummy if you can hear... <laughs> Apparently, I'm super hungry <laughs> or something. I don't know. All right, guys, let's do it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. Colors for the day are blue and purple. So these are the higher chakras. Um, blue would be the color of the throat chakra. Purple would be the color of the third eye. Um, and depending on the shade, it could also be the crown chakra. Uh, to me, blue represents communication, purple represents uh, divine wisdom, higher wisdom, higher learning. So, um, this week could really be a week of some sort of higher integration, um, getting in touch with some sort of higher learning, understanding things from a higher perspective, or maybe even a different perspective than you may have held in the past. And that different perspective absolutely could be influenced by some sort of divine knowledge or divine wisdom that is flooding into your system right now. Um, I would pay close attention to anything that goes on um, in your life right now that feels very significant. I know I've been experiencing a lot of synchronicities over and over, like one after another. Yesterday was a big day of synchronicities for me. Um, number wise, you know, I have, I am seeing 555 five, five quite often, like, <laughs> Um, I had been seeing synchronicities all day, but I was on my way home from class yesterday and I was um, at the subway waiting for the train and a train, an F train pulled up. I don't take the F train, but an F train pulled up and all but, I want to say the very last car 
Um, if you're if you're if you're familiar with the New York City Metro system, the, the subway system, all of the cars have four digit numbers, identification numbers on them. And on this one train, all of the cars, except for I think the very last one, maybe the second to last, but it was at least one of the of the um, of the train of the cars had the first three digits were five five five. <laughs> which I thought was really cool. <laughs> but yeah, synchronicities could be really high. Higher wisdom is coming in, flooding through. I would also say pay attention to your dreams. Um, I went through a period where I was dreaming a lot and it's subsided a little bit now, but now they're just really weird. <laughs> so if there's anything you can get from them, maybe, uh, uh, you know, journal. 555, five, five, journal, um, write about them, whatever. There's higher wisdom coming in, flooding in right now. All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for the, ta for the day, Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Okay, wait, no more, one more, one more, one more. Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. All right, here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit. Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. Wednesday, ooh, April 24th, 2019. Oh, that seems to be quite a bit. Okay. Oh, boy. Wow, that's, <laughs> oh man, this is a lot. Okay, um, and then we have one card that flipped over here. Ace of Swords. All right, Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands so far with quite a, a few other things. But then we also have underneath the deck is Justice. This is the theme right now, okay? Justice, um, Justice can mean a lot of things. Um, some of you may still be dealing with some energies from this Libra full moon we had back on April 19th, which was only last Friday. Good Lord, look at this stack of cards. Good gracious. Okay, we're going to leave that to the side. Um, but justice could mean legal system, legal s situations. It could mean um, action that's coming into your life or that you could be taking to honor yourself more, to bring greater justice into your life, maybe even to bring greater balance into your life. Um, that makes perfect sense here because we do have the Ace of Swords with the uh, the Ace of Wands also, okay? With that, we also have, good gracious, the Magician, the Five of Pentacles. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I, <laughs> I need more space on my table, you guys. The Hierophant, Okay. The Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and Strength. Wow, this sure is a lot. And then, okay, I'm going to have to make more space. So I'm putting this up here. Okay, that's Justice. These three are going here. Okay, Ace of, Wand Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Magician. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Hierophant, Page of Pentacles, Strength, Ooh, Ten of Cups. I'm gonna start doing it this way. Death, the high, uh, the Empress, the Fool. Wow, good gracious. The Six of Pentacles, the Six of uh, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Look at this spread, you guys. This is oh, this is insane. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. And then finally we have. The Seven of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay. And those are off the screen um, because I just don't have enough space <laughs> right now for all of this. <sighs> Give me a moment, you guys. So I would, I'm going to start here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands with the Magician. Okay. There is... Um, some new inspiration, maybe some new information, some new ideas, truth, honesty, 
Um, Ace of Swords is like an aha moment, is an epiphany. Um, I feel like this is... This is influencing some sort of great change that you, in fact, are ma uh, are, are manifesting here with the magician. Um, now, I don't feel like this is an, a passive form of manifestation because the magician in, in no way is the magician passive, okay? He's very active. He's very action-oriented. He takes control and he uses the tools that he has at his disposal to make some sort of change to manifest something new something greater even and with that you do have death there is a major you know this is a, a a transformation okay um i have been personally i've been hearing crows a lot around my home yesterday um i was meditating and you know i was going through some thought processes and there were a bunch of crows um, i heard one this morning it's been happening a lot lately um Okay, moving forward, we now also, also, also in this row here, this top row, we do have the Six of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Magician, and Death. So, a, a greater balance, greater reciprocity, okay? I do feel like there is a change that's being made here in terms of, um, <laughs> I guess, simply put, being nicer to yourself. <laughs> Um, there, there, now, there's a, a nicer to yourself, giving to yourself more, being more balanced and reciprocal. Um, there's also healing involved with the six. I do see the six as a number of healing. And that's the only card that we have that has the number six on it so far. Okay. Um, but here, I do want to point this out. Seven of Wands and Seven of Swords are both in reverse. I feel like there's been some sort of blockage, um, standstill, resistance to something that in in some way you may have been deceiving yourself someone may have been deceiving you i feel like this is for the what, what this what this stands for really for the most part is self-deception and blockages towards seeing something clearly seeing some seeing the truth of a situation and that's what we have here with the ace of swords and the ace of wands okay the ace of swords would be that epiphany that aha moment the um the insight, the new information. It could be fairly dramatic. Uh, the Ace of Swords can, I, I, sometimes you can see the energy of the Ace of Swords as, um, I mean, depending on your situation, somewhat of a rival energy to maybe even the tower. But I don't feel like this is too bad because with the Ace of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands coupled with it. So there's some sort of inspiration. Um, there's some sort of inclination towards some sort of inspired action moving forward, okay? Now, um, moving to the second row, we have the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. We do have three of the fives here. The only one that we don't have is the Five of Cups because in this next row, you have the Five of Wands. But there's the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Empress here, okay? So in terms of some sort of situation here now this is actually where i feel like the divine wisdom is in fact coming through you have the five of swords with the five of pentacles the five of swords would be a backstabbing energy a destructive energy a lose-lose situation um parties or or opponents just going at each other willy-nilly without any real regard to the, the consequences um the Five of Pentacles is an energy of feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected, feeling destitute, um, experiencing some sort of physical loss potentially. Now, the beauty of these two so these two cards, if you want to work towards seeing it that way, is that these are fives. Okay, so this influences some sort of change, even even though it's a struggle, even though it's difficult to deal with. Fives are numbers of change. You could even say growth, because I just heard that. Now, also. Now, look at this. I just realized this. The Hierophant is card number five. Okay? So in this row here, you have five, five, five. So change. Now, the Hierophant represents teaching and learning. It also represents institution. Um, honestly, what I'm feeling right now from the, from the Hierophant is working towards seeing things in a higher light. Um, uh, ascending, I guess you could say, or rising above some sort of some maybe some of the institutional 
institutionalized, institutionalized way of living, um, or at least wanting to see past it. Um, society, patriarchy, hierarchy, institution, um, establishment, things like that. Uh, the Hierophant can also symbolize the status quo here, okay? Um, and the biggest thing that I'm getting here from the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles connected to the Hierophant, and this would be why you are wanting to rise above what the Hierophant may represent in the three-dimensional point of view or just in your physical life. Um, I'm moving that so you guys can see more of the cards. Um, whatever was represented here for you in your specific situation with the Hierophant has generated some sort of lack mentality with the five of pentacles some sort of backstabbing energy destructive energy lose loose energy and it definitely feels like whatever the hierophant may represent is what they feel whoever stands in this position they feel is right but it's actually more destructive in the long run um it's institutionalized and that's what i'm really feeling like i'm really feeling like it's not it's more about business I guess you can say, then about really helping, being of service. Okay, so then from, from there you have the Knight of Pentacles with the Empress. So there's slow and steady progress away from this sort of thing. And I am kind of seeing the Empress as the opposition, the healing energy to this Hierophant. I do want to mention that this Hierophant energy is in the very, the, the exact center of this reading. Okay, so this is a central theme for whatever it is that's going on here for you. I'm seeing the Empress energy here as a healing energy, uh, uh, the, the Divine Mother, the one that says to you, come on, there's more to see, there's more to learn, there's more to understand about your reality, about the world, about the earth, about Mother Gaia. Um, it's it's a heal it's it, it and I guess the way I'm describing it would be more of a high priestess energy, but I do feel like the Empress is embodying some of that high priestess energy, but in more of a motherly way, a nurturing way, because there is a need to heal from the Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords energy that were ge that was generated here by whatever the Hierophant represents for you. Okay. Now, moving to this final row here, um, five, another five, five of wands, but then followed by the page of pentacles, strength, the ten of cups, and the fool, okay? Uh, I feel like a way that some people may be going about their lives or going about this change is highly unconventional. Makes perfect sense because of the struggle that we have represented here by the five of swords and the five of pentacles rep uh, coupled with with the Hierophant. Now, if you're going, we'll say, against the grain, you're going in a different direction, you're trying to do things in a different way, of course, that's going to create some sort of conflict, some sort of differing of opinion, maybe even your own inner turmoil, your own inner conflict here with having to do things in, I guess, an unconventional way. But you have, you have a commitment here. Uh, this could be a commitment for, from yourself um, to yourself in terms of, you know, a new lifestyle, a new way of approaching things. It could have everything to do with the release or rejection of some sort of um, uh, blockage, some sort of deception or something that just may have been unknown to you. This also could be some sort of commitment romantically in some sort of relationship um, because of this Ten of Cups here, okay? Now, speaking on a, just a personal level, the Five of Wands representing a change in... Per, uh, uh, well, yeah, I guess you could say a change in perspective, but a change in perspective that's, change, that's uh, creating some sort of turmoil, conflict, confusion, chaos... Uh, inner turmoil, um, but with the Page of Pentacles here, you have a new uh, a new start, a new level, um, trying something new, um, 
trying to get your footing, a new form of commitment. This is like something, it's something that is kind of like in, in its infancy stage. I have been seeing the Page of Pentacles as, you know, that level up to a new level in which you're trying to find your footing, but especially with this new knowledge that may have come through and this new inspiration that you're dealing with or experiencing here, working from that absolutely could be a new level in which you do have to find your footing. And from there, you know, you're having to calm your mind and deal with some of the inner turmoil, the chaos that you might be experiencing. Meditation may really help you here. But strength is a big part of what you may need right now to really move yourself forward through this period. Um, because I do feel like you're moving towards the Ten of Cups. You're moving towards your ultimate emotional fulfillment. That could really mean anything. It really could mean anything. Whatever would be emotionally fulfilling for you. That could be a job, a career, a place to live, um, you know, a relationship, definitely. I do kind of feel like there is a relationship coming through here that's providing you with a brand new start, potentially. Um, there are new starts already on the table with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, but with the Fool here, this is taking some sort of leap of faith. And that absolutely lines up with the Page of Pentacles energy because the Fool is someone that um, is very trusting in the universe and just kind of takes a leap of faith in a direction that, you know, really resonates with them. Um, it's almost like learning to fly. And it's interesting because when I woke up this morning, um, I had a few songs in my head, but one of them was um, Blackbird. You know that song, Blackbird, singing in the dead of the night, take these broken wings and learn to fly, that kind of thing. That's the song. That's, that was the biggest song. The other one, <laughs> the other one was the song Eye to Eye from uh, a goofy movie. <laughs> I love that movie. But if you guys know that movie, if you used to watch that movie, that song Eye to Eye was playing in my head this morning. Um, yeah, which also talks, I mean, one of the main words, lyrics in that song, in the hook is, um, maybe love is the reason why for the first time ever we're seeing it eye to eye. Um, there's a big change, big, 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 big change. And I know a lot of you have been saying that you've been seeing 555. I've been seeing 555 a lot too so yes there is a great change coming but with that you know five is a number of struggles so it's really not going to be all that easy okay <sighs> but it's definitely worth it in the end that is for sure okay the six of pentacles energy i, I really feel like the number six is very important right now um it's a number of for, in my opinion it's a number of healing um, of harmony of balance of, of harmony in the love and home sectors care grace and compassion are the key words for the six of pentacles right now caring for yourself caring for others having a deeper sense of compassion. And that deeper sense of compassion absolutely relates to this Hierophant energy um, in which there could have been a lack of, there really could be a lack of compassion here in some senses. And it's not necessarily that it's something that may be picked up on, um, on the surface. You really have to look beneath and really pay attention to the nuances of certain situations in order for it to be really recognized and noticed. And that's absolutely how you could feel this slighted energy with the Five of Swords. Okay, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's interesting, I did pull, I was shuffling the cards um, cause I'm going to, I'm going to get into the clarification section. And uh, before I started this reading, I was using this deck. It's the Epic Tarot. And I was just shuffling, shuffling up the cards and the high priestess and the seven of pentacles came out first. And then the Hierophant came out after that. So that's kind of where this higher high priestess energy is coming into play that I mentioned while I was speaking of the Empress and saying that the Empress is embodying some of that high priestess energy, but from a much more caring, compassionate and motherly type or, or um, point of view. Um, and it also came out with the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles 
um, is about reaping what you've sown, but learning lessons and working towards um, a better harvest in the future, you know, learning through contrast. And that also, then also on top of that, the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles came out. Three of Pentacles, self-mastery. Two of Pentacles, bringing balance, greater balance into the situation. And you do have, you do have justice. Excuse me. <coughs> you do have justice here. Okay, this is the overall energy for the reading right now. And so that's definitely another example of bringing balance into your, into your life, into your situation, okay? All right, so since this is such a big spread, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle this up a few times and get some clarification. But the clarification, I'm going to just focus on the Hierophant here, which is the center of the reading, and just let the cards speak. Okay, I'm going to get one, one more shuffle here, and then we'll see what we've got. All right, Spirit, please, just some clarification for this reading. Thank you so much. Oh, there's the Hierophant again. overall energy underneath the deck you have the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is a very mature energy um, and i do feel like it's a step up not even a step up because technically yes it is a step up from the page of pentacles here um, it's a number of steps up <laughs> but um this is um strong maturity, strong commitment. This is definitely where that commitment energy is coming from with this page of pentacles, okay? Um, now, okay, we have the ace of cups, the three of pentacles, which I did mention that came out um, in the pre-shuffle that I was doing. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Cups is in reverse, and the King of Cups. Very, very interesting. Because underneath the deck, when I was doing this pre-shuffle with the Epic Tarot, was the King of Cups. So, emotional maturity, emotional responsibility. Now, you do have the Eight of Cups in reverse here. And all of this fell on this area here. Eight of Cups is in reverse with the King of Cups. Okay, um, interesting. I might want to. I might want to clarify that a little bit more because the Eight of Cups in reverse can either mean that you have, in fact, left something behind, or you you're refusing to leave some something behind. With the King of Cups, though, the King of Cups is upright. Okay, this is emotional responsibility. This is taking responsibility for yourself um there's a very mature energy here between the king of cups and the and the king of pentacles um ace of cups three of pentacles ten of pentacles okay now okay wait hold on hold on guys before i <laughs> try not to get too much ahead of myself because these five uh -huh, another five five cards right here in this area um, these five came out together, so I'm trying to read them together, but I feel like I should also read them separately. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I feel like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I feel like the King of Cups and the Eight of Cups in reverse right here which did fall on the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you guys left something behind a long time ago. This Eight of Cups in reverse just feels like past energy, okay? And now you're, you're, maybe you're being reminded of why, especially since this fell on the Ace of Swords, maybe you're being reminded of why you left this behind for so long, such a long time ago. And it's generating, potentially generating some sort of uh, a new inspiration towards this, okay? Because then following that, you have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So 
And that's just both of these fell on the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So, or all three of these, excuse me, fell on the Five of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Ace of Cups is talking about self-love, unconditional love, divine love, okay? Three of Pentacles is self-mastery. Ten of Pentacles is um, potentially lessons learned. Also, um, the long-term, okay? A long-term investment, money, finances. This could have to do with a, a job, a career, or it could also just be your long-term goals, you, your long-term aspirations, or just even, especially with this mature energy of the King of Pentacles, Pentacles especially, but also with the King of Cups, um, taking a hard look on the long-term, like looking down the road of your life and kind of understanding where you're going, where you want to go, what you want to be experiencing, how you want your life to change, okay? Or how you want to express yourself. Okay, moving forward. Aha, moving forward. Yep, 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 you have the sun with the ace of pentacles. Now the ace of pentacles fell out face down, yes? So that to me is saying, and it is upright, but to me the, the fact that it fell face down is an indication that something is coming, okay? You have some sort of new commitment that's coming forward, a new start also, especially with this fool energy. Yes, there's definitely a brand new start coming, also coupled with the ace of swords and the ace of wands here, new starts, big time. Um, now the Hierophant did come out, it did fall out. It fell crossed on the Empress here. So I feel it's almost as if the Empress energy is kind of like debunking the Hierophant energy. And then also the Eight of Pentacles came out, um, that also fell face down. So there's some potentially some work that you're going to need to do. It also could represent work being done underneath the surface. Um, energetically you know some maybe some even some sort of hidden work maybe you're being you're not necessarily letting it be known that you're doing some sort of work here i guess you could say it's a form of secrecy but it's also just like you're kind of just keeping it to yourself that's kind of what it feels like it could also be that there's some work that may come through uh, some work that may need to be done further on down the road Okay, I do, I want to get, I want to clarify a little bit more. I just want to look into this Eight of Cups in reverse. Just to really, because I do, it, it's something, I really do feel like it's something that you left behind a long time ago. And it's almost as if you're needing to reanalyze why you left this behind. Maybe come to terms with it on a deeper level. It might be that you left some, you left it behind a long time ago, but you may not necessarily have really believed in the direction that you were moving in. And so now with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, you're, and the Six of Pentacles also, you're being almost re-inspired towards this. Okay. I'm going to get one more shuffle, and then I just want to clarify that a little bit more. Alrighty, let's see what we've got here. Uh, just, just some minor clarification, okay, Spirit, please, for this Eight of Cups in Reverse. Eight of Cups in Reversal. Eight of, yeah, Page of Pentacles. Very interesting. Let's see, one more, please, if there is. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Three of Cups, okay. Three of Cups, mind, body, and spirit here. Um, some sort of celebration, some sort of union. We have, wow, the King of Cups again. Two of Swords, Hanged Man, Nine of Cups, the Sun again, and the Unknown. Okay, so this definitely is right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the Two of Swords first with the Hanged Man. Um, now, this could really just, this could... And no, I was going to say this could be resistance towards walking away, but you've walked away from something already. Page of Pentacles, King of Cups, okay? You took some sort of emotional responsibility. You, you, you got 
uh, in tune with the, your emotions in the situation and took action from there and started on a new level, a new path. But then you have the two of swords with the hanged man, all right? Um, there was. There was some sort of indecisiveness that came through. There was a need for a new perspective. Now, this doesn't have to... Okay, this is a general reading, because, and, and also as I'm speaking of this now, this could be something that you're dealing with right now. But what I feel like is it's a resurgence of this energy, okay? The Eight of Cups in reverse could talk about, yes, for the most part, it talks about that you walked away from something in the past, but I guess you're now, now you're at a point where you're facing it again. And I guess you're having to reanalyze the situation. Um, but you're needing to gain, come to a new perspective here, or at least a new understanding with the hanged man, because you're having trouble, I guess, really continuing to move forward with the two of swords, um, or you're just not seeing things too clearly right now. And I do feel like I'm being pulled back to the energies of the Hierophant. The, the Hierophant, I feel like the Hierophant energy status quo, society, institution, establishment, whatever, um, is greatly influencing this for you. And I think, I really feel like it's making it hard for you to make some sort of decision. But then here, you have some beautiful cards. You have the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment um, and satisfaction. You have the Sun, but you also have the unknown. The unknown is the hardest part about all of this. And that is how um, the Hierophant energies kind of get you, right? Because they can play to the fear of the unknown and appear as something uh, something that has been put in place to help protect, but it also can be a form of mind control, okay? And that's the scariest aspect of it. I do feel like here, that might be the scariest thing that you're dealing with. The unknown aspect that can leave you susceptible to... Um, to the unknown, oh, I'm sorry, to a, a form of mind control if you're not taking responsibility here with for your emotions, for your actions. The King of Cups came out twice here, okay? That's intense. And then the Three of Cups, a union card, balance of body, mind, and spirit, yes? It's also a celebration. You also had the Three of Pentacles that came out here. Okay. Ascended Masters, 3-3. Three, three. Yes. Uh, assistance from the higher realms. Okay. Now, the sun also came out twice. Illumination, clarity, understanding... Success even, happiness, joy. I do feel like there's either some clarity that you have gained or it's coming. And that's gonna help you make this sort of decision. The hanged man energy is very prominent here. It's very, very strong. And the hanged man represents uh, stagnancy, being stuck, but most importantly, needing some sort of new perspective. Now, you're getting, I, be, I really do believe you're getting that between the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. It's coming in, and then especially with this sun, the sun which came out twice, but then coupled with the unknown. The unknown card, this is a unique card in the Crystal Visions deck, but it talks about needing to keep an open mind, um, needing more information, but also potentially not necessarily having or being able to get that information. But here, this really just feels mostly like... Uh, needing to keep an open mind. It also feels like needing... It's like needing um, other uh, 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 a second opinion, almost. Okay? I just heard the Hierophants got you down. 
there's more there's more to existence than what this hierophant would like you to believe because if you believe in more then the hierophant energies can't control you and i don't want to bash this i mean this is not it's not all that bad but when it's i don't know we're just in we're in a, a phase right now in human existence where you know, institutions are becoming more and more corrupt. And you're having to see through that in order to make a best decision for yourself moving forward, you know. But hey, take it as it resonates. It could be a situation in which the Hierophant is actually your friend, you know. It could be. Okay, I'm going to close the reading here with... Um, the Lightworker Oracle today, just to get some guidance. And I actually do, I want to specifically um, guide this Oracle guidance in terms of how to handle or face this Hierophant energy. Because also, you know, the Hierophant came out twice. I just wanted to point that out. Look, Hierophant here, that which fell crossed on the High Priestess, and then the Hierophant in the very center of the reading. Okay, so how, best message in how to approach, how to handle, how to balance this situation with the higher font energies here for however they resonate with you, okay? One more shuffle. Actually, we're going to give this five shuffles for the higher font. So this is four and one more. change great change okay here we go best message please spirit for this higher front energy Ooh, there it is <laughs> whoa guys <laughs> holy moly okay so it's card number 14 uh which boils down to a five soul child okay let's see here Oh, whoa, I turned right to it. Oh my God, you guys, that's so awesome. <laughs> okay, here we go. Soul child. Rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for new life and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle, of intense inner work and physical transformation has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. I do want to read more of this. You have undergone a death of the old order. Death literally came out in the reading here, okay? Nothing is as it was, nor will it be so again. You have had to learn detachment, to release and let go over and over again. In so many ways, you have experienced inner death as, as you have bravely surrendered that which no longer serves your growth this lifetime, even if you once loved it dearly or couldn't imagine life without it. Deep inside, through that process, your soul has been gathering energy. It has been drawing it away from the old forms of your life and relationships, from your old beliefs about health, finances, work, and from what used to hold meaning for you. It has done so in order to feed the new soul child being carried within your body. This new you is filled with divine light, love, and power. Your inner soul child, this newly integrated self, is preparing for birth now. From that which is no longer something new is now being born. You are ready for the next cycle or phase in your life, the fool. Even if, like a newborn cult learning to stand steady on shaky legs, you are not sure of your strength, page of pentacles, be reassured. The new self you are experiencing will grow strong and powerful soon enough. Let confidence in your new self emerge. Strength. Reflect upon how different you are now to a year or even a month ago. Be curious about who you are. 
Ace of Swords. Do not expect the same reactions or experiences you encountered in your past. It is a time of celebration and acknowledgement that a new day, a new you has begun a journey in a physical world. You shall enjoy the divine harvest of all your growth and effort. This card can also indicate that a child around you, perhaps one about whom you have been thinking deeply, is particularly gifted or spiritually oriented. This child may have an important mission this lifetime and need your loving support and spiritual encouragement to thrive into that mission according to his or her own divine timing. That absolutely could mean the inner child within you, okay? Now, so this Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords in conjunction with the Hierophant energy absolutely could mean that you are getting closer or deeper and a, a deeper understanding of your soul mission here um, and getting back to that inner child energy, which is allowing you to stand up to whatever the Hierophant represents here, okay? This card may also be a sign that a new business idea, professional or personal relationship or lifestyle choice is going to support the growth of your spirit in a positive and encouraging way. If this is the case, then that new idea or connection, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, yes, that new idea or connection will lead to the birth of creative new programs, ideas, and structures in your life. On the other hand, if something has been flagging in energy or success, but you are yet not yet inclined to give it up, this oracle comes as confirmation and encouragement, which is absolutely representative of whatever you may have walked away from in the past with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, I'm going to read this again. On, other, on the other hand, if something has been given, has been flagging in energy or success, but you are not yet inclined to give it up, this oracle comes as confirmation and encouragement. Rebirth is going to happen. Do not give up. Sometimes it's at its darkest just before the dawn. I mean, wow. Look, 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 look. Two of swords, the hanged man, page of pentacles, okay? Don't give up. There is um, a different perspective, a deeper perspective that's coming through here. The sun came out on this with the King of Cups again, like twice. Nine of Cups came out on this. Don't give up. Do not give up, okay? If this is in alignment with you, if this path that you've chosen to take is in alignment with you, do not give up. Justice ultimately is going to be served. Okie dokie. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Please don't forget, we do have happy hour tonight. If you would like to get on the list, you can sign up in advance. Just go ahead and send payment to my PayPal account and make sure that you put your question in the description of that payment. Yes, much love to you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again later on this evening for happy hour. And also, if you can't make it, tomorrow morning for our next cup of coffee. Yeah, take care. Bye.